So today for tea time with Princess Penelope, I want to tell you about this electric tea kettle. Uh, comment below if you have ever used an electric tea kettle and what you think about using one versus say a teapot. Uh, this glass teapot is my favorite to use, but there are days where I just need something faster and more simple than my regular teapot. So um, let's head to the kitchen and I will tell you all about this teapot and what I like and don't like about it. Come on, let's go. Okay, now that we've made it to the kitchen, I'm gonna tell you all about this tea kettle. Now to open the tea kettle, it has this little button here on top that you just press and it opens. And one of the things that I like about this kettle in particular is that it has a wide mouth for filling it up. Now I already added a little bit of water in there, not too much so I don't spill it all over you, but you can see it's very wide so it's easy to put the water in. And um, the other thing that I like is it has measurements here on the inside of the handle. It uh, can take up to one liter of water and so it's perfect for just if you are warming up some water for you or if you also have guests that you need to serve. Um, the other thing is I love how the handle is nice and wide and so it's very easy to pick up and grip and you uh, will not drop it or it's not awkward to hold. Uh, it's very good and then also I love how the width in between the handle and the teapot itself because uh, as you'll discover in a minute, this part gets very hot. And so uh, as you're pouring and picking it up, you're not in danger of touching it. Even if your hand did hit it, it hits this plastic part, which is not hot, thankfully. Um, now, once you set this uh, down on the heating source, um, it looks like this and just plugs right into the wall. Uh, you to turn it on, you will press this button down and that and it lights up as well, which you'll see in a moment. And that lets you know if it's on or off. And to turn it off, you simply push it back up and that will turn it off for you. Now, um, let's go ahead and get this tea warming, or the water warming rather. Uh, so I'm just gonna set it on here and plug it in. And then I just press this down. Don't know if you can see that very well, but it lights up right there. And, uh, and so while that's heating, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tea ready. I'm gonna use this tea today. Uh, just a simple black tea is one of my favorites. And as you can probably hear, the water is starting to warm up. It heats up very quickly. It takes typically less than two minutes to heat up completely. And in most cases, in a minute, it's already ready. Now, quick tip here uh, regarding tea bags. Now, I have a whole video about this, but to brew tea with a tea bag, the one thing that you want to make sure you do is to not leave your tea bag in for too long or not enough time. So, I have a whole chart that tells you how long each type of tea should steep in water because it's different for every tea. Some teas, like black tea, need a couple minutes but some teas like oolong tea need much, much longer. Uh, and then also never squeeze the tea bag as you're taking it out. Oh, I see people do it all the time. And all that does is make your tea more bitter and not taste nearly as good. All right, it sounds like our tea is just about finished. So then all you do is pick up the tea, the teapot, and pour yourself some tea. Now, one of the things that I do not like about this tea kettle in particular, and you can find other tea kettles that don't have this problem, they tend to be much more expensive, 
Um, this one is quite reasonably priced, but this part is very hot. So if you have young children or just children in general, um, you don't want to have it close to the countertop like I did here. You're definitely going to want to scoot it back so that they don't burn the little fingers. And um, same uh, for your guests. If your guests are serving their own tea, you might want to just warn them that, hey, make sure you only touch the handle uh, because the teapot itself is rather hot. Um, one of the other things I liked, I don't know if you noticed, but when I poured my tea, uh, the way the spout is created, it does not drip. And so uh, that is very nice for not creating messes and having more cleanup. So um, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, you'll find the link for this tea kettle in particular uh, below. And until we meet again, Take care.